Hello, it's Catherine at Weight Loss for Goddesses. Welcome to day four of our Conquer Cravings, Lose the Weight Challenge. And this, um, this tapping episode is really interesting and fun and really cool. So I got this from a book called Cure, let's see what the name of it is, Cure White Sugar and Chocolate Cravings in One Hour is what it's called. It's from Rebecca Marina. I got it as an ebook off Amazon a while ago. And um, I was a little skeptical about it. I like her a lot, but she's a little wacky sometimes. And um, not that I know anything about wacky, but um, I decided to give it a try and it was really cool. It really worked to another way to neutralize cravings. This one kind of surprised me it worked so well. I know a lot of people, I know sometimes you can call in the placebo effect. I don't know if that's what it was or if it really actually did neutralize the response in the dopamine receptors, but I was glad it worked. It made it a lot easier to stop eating sugar and foods that I was pretty addicted to. So we're going to go through, you know, a lot of what she does in the beginning of that book is some of what we've done where you kind of um, tap on and process all of the emotions around giving up a food because there's a lot of resistance to um, just to losing weight and giving up food as we've talked about these last three times. But so now we're going to focus on um, tapping to decrease the response in our opiate receptors in our brain because sugar is like heroin. It's like a drug in our brain and it hits those same receptors. So we're just gonna dull that response. So get ready, start tapping. I just have to peek at my notes. There we go. So we start with the um, karate chop point and she does white sugar and chocolate. That's what she's trying to get away from. For me, it's white sugar, chocolate and gluten. For you, it might be something else. Maybe it's chocolate pudding, maybe it's um, beer, maybe it's uh, coffee, you know, whatever it is that you know is your trigger that you can't stop around. So even though I'm addicted to white sugar, chocolate, and bread, I love accept and forgive myself. Even though I'm totally addicted to white sugar, chocolate, and bread, I love accept and forgive myself. Even though I'm totally and utterly addicted chemically to white sugar, chocolate, and bread, I love accept and forgive myself. And then we go through and um, we tap on um, that I'm addicted. So you tap on the top there, I'm addicted, I'm addicted, I'm addicted, I'm addicted, I'm addicted. Let's go along, we're gonna do all the points. I'm addicted, I'm addicted, under the armpit, I'm addicted, I'm addicted. And then you tap, I don't want to give up my addiction. To white sugar, chocolate, and bread, whatever it might be. I don't want to give up my addiction to white sugar, chocolate, and bread. I don't want to give up my addiction to white sugar, chocolate, and bread. I don't want to give up my addiction to white sugar, chocolate, and bread. I don't want to give up my addiction to white sugar, chocolate, and bread. And let yourself really feel it. I don't want to give up my addiction to white sugar, chocolate, and bread. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to. I don't want to give it up. I'm addicted. That's part of being addicted. Under the armpit, I'm addicted to white sugar, chocolate, and bread, and I don't want to give it up. Top of the head, one last time, I don't want to give up my addiction. Wind is blowing, things are falling. And then we say, even though I'm addicted to white sugar, chocolate, and bread, I ask the opiate receptors in my brain to become dulled to white sugar, chocolate, and bread. We don't want to totally turn them off. We not sure, quite sure what would happen. Even though I'm addicted to white sugar, chocolate, and bread, I want, I ask the opiate receptors in my brain to become dulled in their response to white sugar, chocolate, and bread. So we're asking that those receptors in the brain that take on the um, things that really get us, that really kick out dopamine for us, that that receptor becomes dulled. So we're not as excited and enthralled and drugged and therefore addicted to it. So, opiate receptors be dulled to all unhealthy sugars, bread and chocolate. Opiate receptors be dulled to all unhealthy sugars, bread and chocolate. Opiate receptors be dulled to all unhealthy sugars, chocolate and bread. Under the eye, opiate receptors be dulled to all unhealthy sugars, chocolate and bread. Big breath. Opiate receptors be dulled to all unhealthy sugars, chocolate, and bread. Under that lip, opiate receptors be dulled to all unhealthy sugars, chocolate, and bread. Opiate receptors be dulled to 
all those unhealthy sugars, chocolate and bread, all on a sandwich that I want to eat. Opiate receptors be dulled. Opiate receptors be dulled to all unhealthy sugars, chocolate and bread. Tap, 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 and then one more time. Opiate receptors be dulled to all unhealthy sugars, chocolate and bread. <sighs> nice breath. And then, now that I've dulled, and now that I've asked and allowed the opiate receptors to be dulled, I ask and allow the body's intelligence to begin communicating with my body about what foods bring it pleasure. What foods bring my body pleasure? What healthy foods bring my body pleasure? I want to ask and allow the opiate receptors in my brain to know what healthy foods bring my body pleasure. What healthy foods bring my body pleasure? What ways other than white chocolate, white sugar chocolate and bread can my body find pleasure? I just want to ask and allow my body to be open to that. Now that I've asked and allowed the opiate receptors to be dulled, I ask and allow the body's intelligence to begin communicating with my body about what foods bring it pleasure. What foods bring my body pleasure? What foods bring my body pleasure? And right now, I don't know about you, but I'm craving a watermelon. That is what came to me. That's what my body wants. And then we just do, so we've kind of closed down the opiate receptors for those unhealthy foods. We're trying to open up those receptors for more healthy foods. So we just kind of tap on, I love healthy foods. I love healthy foods. I love eating food that makes me feel good. I love eating food that makes me feel good. I love eating fruits and vegetables. I love food that makes me feel good. More plain, so I think that's three at a time. I love eating food that makes me feel good. Bring on the food that makes me feel good. Bring on the food that makes me feel good. I can feel good and have the opiate receptors respond to healthy foods. I allow for more and more joy in my body. I allow for more and more joy in my body. I allow for joy. Bring on the joy. More joy in my body. More joy in my body. Ask and allow my body to feel joy with healthy foods. I ask and allow my body to feel joy and health with healthy foods. I ask and allow my body to feel joy with healthy foods. I ask and allow more joy, more joy, more joy. And you can feel tapping, you can tap away negative things. That's a lot of what we focus on in the world of tapping, but you can also tap to feel positive. You know, it can get you absolutely giddy if you just keep tapping through, um, almost like affirmations you tap through. Once you've kind of gotten rid of the more negative, it really can um, explode into happiness. So hooray, here's to more joy. Here's to decreased cravings. I have used this many times. Again, it's Rebecca Marina's. Um, Cure White Sugar and Chocolate Cravings in an Hour. It's a book. Um, like it's a lecture that's turned into a book. And uh, this has helped me. This specific type of tapping has helped me a few, more than a few times when I'm off and craving. And um, it's kind of before I discovered the other things and before I discovered the Whole30, I would use this and it was great. So I highly recommend you use this in conjunction with all the other things that we're learning. I know I'm giving you lots of tapping and lots of things to tap on that are um, deep and varied. So hopefully that's that's okay and you're hanging, hanging in there. Um, if you want, you can put underneath this what your most intense cravings are, which you had to put in for what you were addicted to, um, what combination of foods. And then you can also uh, write in the comments how it worked for you and how this um, kind of shifted how you felt. Because I do find once I do this, um, when I go back to eat something, I don't even want it. You know, same with the craving tapping that we did yesterday. She also says in this, you can get back to, you know, where you originally were before the tapping. If you almost override it, if you're like, I need to eat chocolate, that's what I do. You know, if you let your brain take over your body and get you to indulge in that craving, mostly out of habit, which I've also done kind of before I've done the previous tapping, before I really had um, figured out why I was eating, I would do this and then almost be a little scared when I didn't crave the chocolate and be like, well, what am I gonna do? What, what you know, just to fill that hole, oh my gosh. I need something and then I would kind of almost force myself override the 
lack of desire to eat the chocolate until I kind of kicked back in that cycle. So um, have some respect for this because it really works. And when you notice yourself wanting something mentally and not physically, try and do that other kind of tapping to see what's going on. Because again, all of this stuff, it is a lot of work and it requires you to really look at what's going on, but the rewards are incredible and long lasting and you will feel great. So hang in there, keep tapping. If you have any questions or anything, just um, put my name in the comments below so I know to respond to them. But yes, keep tapping, you're doing great. Hang in there one more day and um, we're done now with day four of conquer cravings, lose the weight. All right, thanks, bye.